Assalamu alaikum and hi. So how are you guys doing with the calculation for milli equivalent per liter for magnesium, sodium and potassium? Okay. So I hope that you will get the answer. So for magnesium is 16.3 divided by 12.155 is supposed to be 1.34. For sodium is 1. And for potassium is 0 0.45. So if you total up all values for the milli equivalent per liter, so it will end up to be 4.24. Now we have completed already for the cation part, so we would like to calculate the milli equivalent per liter's values for all the anion presence. So anion, uh, actually, or the anion are for the negative ion. So we have bicarbonate, HCO3 minus, sulfate, SO4, 2 minus, and chloride, Cl minus. So the value in milligram per liter, so we just write it down, 171.4, 36, and 24. So now we have to calculate the equivalent mass for all the anion. So whenever you like to find out the equivalent mass, you've got to refer to the periodic table. So this is the anion for bicarbonate. So the atomic mass, it, it, uh, the bicarbonate uh, contain, con, uh, contains uh, hydrogen atom, carbon atom, and also oxygen. So we have to find out all the values for atomic mass for them, okay? So molecular mass for it, in other words. So for hydrogen, the atomic mass for hydrogen is 1. Carbon is 12401, so I round it up to be 12. And for oxygen, we have 3 oxygens. Don't forget that 3 oxygens. So 3 times over here, 16. So the absolute charge for bicarbonate is 1. So all of that. We have to divide it by 1. So 3 times 16 is 48 plus 12 is 60 plus 1 is 61 divided 1. Divided by 1 is 61. As for sulfate, okay, so that is the atomic mass for sulfate, 32.07. So I put it as 32. Plus we have 4 atom of uh, 4 oxygen atom. So 4 times 16, okay, that is the value for the uh, at, um, molecular mass. So divided by the absolute charge. So the charge for sulfate is 2 minus. So the ab absolute charge is 2. We ignore that negative or that minus signs. So we, we divided that by 2. So we have to calculate it now. 4 times 16 is 64. 64 plus 32 is 96. So 96 divided by 2 is 48. And the last part, okay, for chloride, so refer to this atomic mass of chlorine, 35.45. So I'll round the number to be 35 for 0.5, okay. So that is the atomic mass for, for chlorine. So we have to divide it by 1, okay, because the charge is negative 1. That means the absolute charge for chlorine is 1. So 35.5 divided by 1, we got it to be 35.5. So the milli equivalent values is this value divided by all these values. So 171.4 divided by 61, 171. 0.4 divided by 61, we get it to be 281, 2.81, 36 divided by 48, 36 divided by 48, we got that to be 0 0.75, and the last part is 24 divided by 35.5, 24 divided by 35.5, we got that to be 0 0.6. Eight. Okay, so we total up all together these numbers. Okay, we will get 
two four. Thank you from Muzaffar Zainal Abidin.